Hello Internet! Ako po si Manny Villar ng OneNegosyo.com. Tara, mag-online business na tayo. At ng TrulyRichPinoy.com. Tara, mag-stock market na tayo. Welcome to today's Facebook Live video episode about the stock market. A lot of people have been asking, what's that long term, what's that short term, what's that investing, what's that trading? We'll be answering those popular questions in the following minutes. So, for those tuning in, good morning, have a pleasant Saturday, and sit back, relax, feel free to leave your comments, post your questions below, and we'll answer them. So, what's that long-term, short-term thing? To make it simple, if you say long-term, you're willing to let your money stay in the stock market for 5, 10, 15, 20 years, okay? meaning you do not need to use that money in the next 5 years, 10 years, 15 years. If you are willing to place your money in the stock market for that long, then you are said to be a long-term investor. Now, if you cannot stand leaving your money there for five years, if you want to leave them there, your money there for only 12 months, or maybe only six months, or maybe only one month or one week, then you are into short-term trading, meaning your point is to put your money in and then after a short while, sell your stocks and get the money back. Short-term trading yon. So, why do people get into long-term investing? Number one reason for getting into long-term investing in the stock market. People are busy. Sobrang busy ng Pinoy. Busy sa trabaho, busy sa pamilya. Walang panahon na tumingin sa stock market araw-araw. They don't want to look at the charts, the numbers every day. At most, they're willing to spend time only once a month. Okay? If you're willing to spend about 20 minutes a month once a month but one 20 minute period per month for the stock market then maybe long-term investing is for you okay maybe because the other ingredient is yung puso mo okay like when i started in the stock market i was super busy well up to now i'm still super busy and i don't want to spend too much time looking at numbers and looking at companies so i subscribe to the Truly Rich Club and I simply rely on their list. They have a list of stocks, about 10 stocks. Every day they update it and then they put there, no? Buy at the moment of buy or sell. Buy if the price is below a certain price. Sell if the price is at or above a target selling price. So what I do is every month, I would just go there once a month for about 15 to 20 minutes. Titignan ko lang dun. Ano kaya yung stock na okay bilhin dito? Ah, ito. And then I'll go to Call Financial, I'd log into the Call Financial website, place the buy order, and then my money in Call Financial will be used to buy some of the shares of the stock that I ordered them to buy. As simple as that. We've been doing that for the past, I don't know, seven, eight years. It's a boring process. And there are times that we are happy, there are times that we are sad. Like right now, we're feeling sad. Because the stock market is down when you log into your call financial account and look at your portfolio, and daming pula. When you see red, ang ibig sabihin ng red, ganito. You bought at this price, so maybe you spent around 5000 before to buy so many shares of stock of stock ABC. But now, since the stock market prices are down, pula siya, it's called red, meaning if you were to sell those shares now, you'll be selling at a loss. And then, in that case, you have to remind yourself, I'm a long-term investor. So, I won't mind this because I bought that stock less than five years ago. So, I don't care what happens to it over the next five to ten years because in the future, dun pa lang ako magbebenta kapag nag-recover na yung price. That's the mentality of a long-term stock market investor. Still, Still, no. even if you say, I am a long-term stock market investor, if you look at your portfolio and see the red numbers, di ba, mga friends natin dyan who bought FGen in the past. I bought FGen in the past. Right now, the price is really low. Kaya pulang pula yan. My friends who bought FGen who say that they are long-term stock market investors, when they see the red values, they go, oh, bebento ko na nga. Okay? If you get the book of Marvin Germo, Ano ba yun? Breaking the resistance. In the earlier part of the book, he talked about the case of Ayala Land, ALI. Kailan ba yun? I think in 2007, 
In 2007, the stock price of Ayala land was around 17 pesos and 50 centavos. Packet siya eh. And people were excited. Ah, I want to buy, I want to buy Ayala land. I'm going to hold it for the long term. I'm a long term investor. Let's say you bought it at 15 pesos before it hit 17.50. You bought it at 15 pesos. And then in July, June or July 2007, like 17.50. And you're going, wow, you 15 pesos ko, 17.50 na. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for it to go even higher. But what happened in 2008? In 2008, the stock price of Ayala Land dropped to 5 pesos and 90 centavos. Biro mo nun, it was 17.50 or sabi mo na lang 15 the year before. And then in, 20, in 2008, 5 pesos and 90 centavos. How could that happen? Ayala yan. Well, it happens. Stock prices can go up and they can go down. They can affect solid companies like Ayala, Ayala Land, Bagsak. So if you were a true long-term investor, you'll say, wala, wala yan. That's going to recover. Okay? Unfortunately, there are some people who will say at the start, Nako, long-term investor ako. And then when they see the red numbers, they feel bad. They feel sad. Or in the, in our, in the case of our friend, si Sislin, naiinis? Bakit naging 5, 19, 5 pesos and 90 na lang yung binili ko sa halagang 15 pesos? Okay? And the thing was, for the next 4 years, 4 to 5 years, Ayala Land Inc. ALI had a hard time going back up. Okay? Imagine that. It had a hard time going back up. So, for the next four years, people were feeling super inis. What happened in 2013 or six years later, not from 2007, in 2013, the stock price of Ayala Land went up to, can you guess what happened to the stock price of Ayala Land about six years later? Good morning, Anton Villavera Dan. Yong Lakson. Bitter daw ko. Good morning, Bro June Laroco. Atan or Ethan Alfeche. Hello. Mike Morales. Darwin Royo. Joseph Rabis Cuarte. Alfon Zander Radaza. Joe Sagun. Hello. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. So, six years later, the stock price went up to 30 pesos. 30 pesos. So, imagine if you had bought the stock in 2007 at around 15 pesos. And then you sold your shares of stock of ALI in 2013 or six years later at 30 pesos per share. It's like you doubled your money in six years. In that 15 pesos per share, naging 30 pesos or double. In effect, you doubled your money in six years. Okay? So what percent is that? Following the rule of 72, the number 72 divided by the number of years it took for your money to double, which in this case, in the case of Ayala Land, from 2007 to 2013 was 6 years. 72 divided by 6 equals 12%. So it's as if you placed your money in 2007 in something that grew at 12%, and then in 2013 or 6 years later, naging double na. That's what it means, 12%. So okay ba maging long-term investor? For some people, yes, especially kapag super busy ka and you don't have time to really study everything so much and you just want to rely on the people who will recommend certain stocks to buy. Okay na yun. And that's exactly what we did, no? We work with people who are serious about the stock market because they have the time and the commitment to it. Umasa tayo sa kanila. Does it always turn out happy this way? No, it does not. In the case of Marvin, Marvin Germo, in his book, Breaking the Resistance. The same case, no? Ay Ayala Land, he cited, itago na lang natin siya sa pangalan ni Engineer Santos. Na-pressure siya, pressure siya ng misis niya, na ano nangyari sa pera mo? Bumili ka 15 pesos, ngayon, 590. Pre-nessure siya ng pre-nessure ng pre hanggang sa nung nag-8 pesos yung stock. Binenta na niya. Nabuisit siya sa stock market. Biro mo, naglabas siya at 15 pesos per share, bumagsak sa 590 kaya nung umabot sa 8 binenta niya ng palugi kung naghintay lamang siya edi sana dumoble yung pera niya after 6 years so in that case hindi siya, hindi siya pala tunay na long term investor 
So he lost his money. So just because you're a long-term investor does not mean guaranteed you will make money in the stock market. If you sell at the wrong time, then you will lose money, whether you're a long-term stock market investor or a short-term trader. Okay? Feel free to post your questions in the comments below. We'll help you out. Rochelle Calma Dumo, thanks for watching. Oh, yeah, Anton, long time, long time no see. <laughs> Super busy. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of writing these past few weeks. Kaya, hindi, hindi ebook writing for reports and other stuff, other posts. Okay, so what happened in our personal long term? Stock market investing journey. Ito yung nangyari, na bore ako. Because, admittedly, it's truly a boring activity. Once a month, I will go and log into Bo Sanchez's Truly Rich Club and choose. Alin kaya dito yung bibling ko? Then I'll buy that. Month in, month out. Ganun ng ganun. And so far, our fund has been growing. Sometimes it will drop. Because of the stock prices or because TRC recommended a stock now they thought would grow and then they'll say, Ay, something happened in the world, the price of fuel went up, therefore this stock will no longer hit what we thought would be this price. Ibenta mo na lang, tapos yung proceeds, gamitin mo lang para bumili na ibang stock na mas mabilis ang pag-grow, ang tawag ng switching. So that will sometimes happen. And... I got bored. Kasi, wala, it's already robotic na for me. Para ka ng robot na, oh, oy, it's that time of the month. Bibili ako ng stock. Log in. Ano yung, ano yung stock na okay? Sige, ito. Bili. And then, magde-deposit na naman ako ng pera sa Call Financial para next month, meron akong pambili ng stock. Next month. Paulit-ulit yon. If you get into long-term stock market investing, you're going to get bored. And what happens when you get bored? You're going to start wondering, what if mag short term trading kaya ako? Have you reached that point? I'm already at that point. I want to try short term trading. Kasi yung mga short term traders, ganito yung feeling nila, no? Ano? Maghihintay ako ng 6 years bago dumoble yung pera ko? Ang tagal nun. Sign yung time. Kasi ganito yung stock market, no? It goes up and down, up and down, up and down. And the general expectation is over the long term, although may akyat, may baba, over the long term, the general trend is of certain companies, like blue chip companies, but again, it's not guaranteed. The general expectation is patas yan. Pero, 6 years, 10 years, 20 years, ang antagal. Ang inisip ng short term trader ganito. Diba, umakyat, bumababa, akyat, baba. Bakit? hindi na lang ako bumili kapag mababa tapos pag umakyat ng kaunti benta na ako e di doon palang wala pang 6 months kumita na ako hindi, hindi ako maghintay ng 6 years sayang yung opportunity cost kaya maraming mga millennials maraming mga FW ay natutuwa sa short term trading okay? in the case of the long term investing ang tinitingnan doon yung what they call fundamentals meaning the company Solid ba na company yan? Okay ba yung mga products nila? Tinatangkirik ba ng merkado? Do they command a large market share? Do people expect this company to last a long time? 6 years, 10 years, 30 years? If yes, and, and the stock price is affordable, bibilin ko yan, tapos in the future, in-expect kong umangat yan, saka kong magbebenta. Yan ang long term. But in the case of short-term trading, they don't really look at these companies na, okay ba yan sa market? Maganda pa yung products. Natutuwa ba sa mga customers? They don't look at that. Short-term traders use technical analysis. So they look purely at numbers. How did the stock price move in the past? Kasi napansin ng mga short-term traders that there is a pattern. Somehow, they have some formulas na if the stock price moves like this, like this, and then like this, malamang yung next step ay tataas yan. Or malamang ay next step ay bababa yan. And then, knowing this, this is how they're going to behave. If the stock price is going down, 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 they won't buy it. But once it reaches what they call a support, they expect it to start to go up again. Habang packet yung stock price, dun sila bibili. Tapos kasi alam nilang in a short time, 
Tatasha abo siya sa what they call a resistance or ceiling at doon sila magbebenta. So hinihintay, hinahanap nila yung mga stocks na on the way up na hindi pa masyado malapit sa ceiling para pag umabot sa ceiling, meron na silang kinita. Now, among the traders, meron ka ring short term and meron ka ring long term. When I say short term na trader, yan yung they intend to sell their stock within a week or within a month. When I say naman long term trader, they expect to sell the stock maybe within six months. Okay? So what does it mean? If you are a trader, meaning inahabol mo yung mga, you're trying to time the market. Tinatiming mo, I want to buy it when it's here. Kasi kapag umangat ng konti, ibibenta ko to, no? If you are after the six-month period, that means you don't have to look at these stocks every day. So if you want to try trading, like me, no? I don't have time for the stock market. Kaya long-term stock market investor ako. Eh ngayon, nabobor na ako. Gusto ko nang subukan yung trading. I won't jump into short-term trading. I'll, I'll target siguro six months. So siguro, instead of looking at the stock market every day, maybe, pwede na ba yung once a week? Itetest ko yun eh. What if I look at the stock market once a week? Is that enough for me to successfully choose a stock that I can sell within six months? Siyempre, pwedeng umokay, pwedeng hindi. If you're into trading, talagang may mga case na you'll have a bad trade. Parang ganito, no? You see these stock going up, down, up, down, up, down. You use their charts, their formulas to find a pattern and you think na, oh, itong stock na ito, pocket na ito. Tapos feeling ko, akit pa ito ng ganyan. So, bilhin na ako dito. Eh, tapos nun, tinopak yung market. Hindi sumunod sa pattern, nag-ibang expectations. Yung akala mong pataas na, ay biglang pababa. And then based on the technical analysis, based on the pattern, mukhang lalo pang bababa. So the stock, the short-term traders will say, Nako, I want to cut my losses na, cut loss. So kahit bumili siya ng stock na yun, kasi akala niyang aangat in the short term, nung nakita yung pattern na, Nako, mukhang bababa pa. They will sell it even at a loss. Because short-term traders expect na they will find another stock that can offset that loss. Ganun yun. So kung kaya ng puso mo yung lagi mong hinahanap yung stock na ganun yung pattern kapag ka hindi nag-meet sa expectation mo, bibitawan mo, bibenta mo ng palugi, tapos hanap ka naman iba. So ang nangyari dyan, minsan, loss, 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 tapos gain. Pero hopefully yung gain mo ay mas malaki sa mga maliliit na losses mo kasi... Meron kasi net na level na kapag ka bumagsak to, bibitawan ko na. As opposed to the long-term investor, na pagka nakita niya bumabas ko yung price, hindi sinasabi, naku, bibitawan ko na. So sabi ni long-term investor, wow, affordable, lalo pang naging mura, lalo pa akong bibili nito. Para in the future, far, far off future, pag malaki na, mas malaki yung profit ko. So you have to be aware of that mindset. So baka tinatanong mo, nagsimula ako na long-term investor, tapos ngayon parang, gusto na natin subukan yung short-term trading. Paano na yun? We have our strategy separated, okay? We have some money for long-term investing and a different set of money for short-term trading. And then we can compare. Para it's easy to check kung sana pala nagpanay investing na lang ako or sana pala nagpanay trading ko. So hinihiwalay natin yan para meron din tayong basis for saying, hindi, stop na ako. Okay? Let's say I have a budget ito lang yung pera ko pang trading. Kapag ka naubos yan kasi nagkamali ako, stop na ako. Now, some of you might say, ayoko maubos eh. You can check out um, Investagrams, investagrams.com. You can simulate, no? You can, it's as if you're buying and trading stocks, but you're not using money. You're just using the stock prices, and then you plug in what you think is going to happen, and then you can see what your score is in terms of money. Did you make a profit or did you just lose money without actually spending your money so more and more pinoys are trying out investagrams.com they're watching mr money growers ph cinemas akio kishawagi something like that he didn't use his real name to try trading and we are doing that and something weird happened no when i went into that which i will reveal to you after we greet greet who else are here Greet, greet, greet muna tayo. O, sabi ni Bitter daw ko, nakaka-excite 
pero need more time and learning. Yes, since uh, short-term trading involves you, involves having to read more and being and monitoring the stock market more, exciting yan. So, you have to budget your time also. Tanong ni Gia, kaya kaya ng puso? This is again a self-mastery journey, no? Sabi ng mga mentors, step outside your comfort zone. Ako dati, sinabi ko noon, hindi, purely long-term investor ako, ayoko ng trading, kasi hindi ka ng puso ko. Pero ngayon, ba't di natin subukan? Small experiments muna. Linwell Mark Retiza, good morning. Konnichiwa, R.B. Bautista, R.B. San, hello. Uy, kilala ni Anton yung CEO. Alin, no Money Growers PH. He's very popular, no? Galing ng mga videos niya sa YouTube. Patok ng patok, ang daming nanonood. Demo account, Gia, no? I'm going to set aside some money for trading. I'm prepared to lose it kasi ganyan matag yung buhay sa trading. Majo Rojas, thanks for watching. CJC. Yes, Anton, Investagrams. Thank you, McLeod Villegas, for the question, what's the advice for beginners in this field? My advice is to get in touch with other beginners and see how, get in touch also with experienced people, learn from them, listen to their stories, and then do your own experiments also. And most important of all, be responsible for what happens to your money. Do not say, si ganyan kasi, nirecommend ito, tapos nalugi. No, do not be a victim, okay? You have to be responsible for your own money because you were the one who placed the buy order. You were the one who gave the order to sell. Even though someone said it, you were the one who executed it. So if something goes wrong, it's all on you. Okay? If you can accept that, then you're well on your self-mastery journey. Because in business and stocks, ganun talaga. Jomar Taniegra. Hello, hello. So this is what happened. I researched, I found Money Growers PH, I found their Facebook fan page, and I saw there that they're going to have a webinar with no replays, no recording on November 3 at 8 p.m. So I clicked the link, I registered, there's a Google form, I entered my email address, and I received a confirmation that I am registered. And then when I asked around, so how do I pay the 3000 bucks for that webinar? I read that Someone is going to send me an email with the instructions on how to pay the 3000 for the November 3 webinar ni Money Growers PH and sorry ni Z Freaks that's letter Z E E F R E A K S Z Freaks so I checked my inbox wala I only saw the acknowledgement of the form wala tayong nakitang instructions pa on how to pay so I kept searching search 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 Z Freaks wala pa rin and then one evening, about two nights ago, I saw an email. But it wasn't from Z Freaks. It was, it was from someone else. And it turns out na months ago, I subscribed to the email list of someone, I won't mention the person first, who teaches people about the stock market, specifically about long-term investing and short-term trading. So I go, wow, hulog ng langit. Kung hindi ko nalaman yung tukol kay Money Growers PH, hindi ko nalaman tukol kay Zfrix. Kung hindi ko nalaman yung tukol kay Zfrix, hindi ako nag-search sa inbox ko ng Zfrix. Kung hindi ako nag-search ng inbox ko ng Zfrix, hindi ko nalaman na ang dami ko na palang natanggap na email from this other guy who teaches about, who does mentoring about long-term and short-term trading sa stock market. Kaya, ganyan yan, no? There are no accidents. So what happened was, uh, I clicked on the link of the guy who sends me a lot of email. And on the spot, I enrolled. Magkano ba yung one-year enrollment sa kanya? One year's access sa kanyang data? Mga 4,500. I was ready to spend the 3,000 na, pero hindi ko nakita yung mga payment instructions. So, dito ko na ilalagay yung 4 or 5. mag -e enroll na ako dito. And I did. And when I read, and dami natin natutunan in... Two hours. I had to sleep na eh. Exciting. Wow, two hours. and dami na nating nasagap about the world of combining long-term with short-term. Kaya, yan ang part na ating journey. No? I'm sharing it with you to inspire you to also go out and learn. Kasi you'll never know what you're going to stumble into. 
which brings me to the seg I'll be segueing to affiliate marketing and it is this email marketing works you might feel bad na hindi naman ino open yung email ko eh and look at that guy he has been sending me a lot of emails I never opened his emails because there's simply too, too many emails ibang email binubuksan ko nakalimutan ko na nga na nagsubscribe ako sa email list niya and yet because of money growers PH because of Z freaks biro mo hindi siya yun ha Nag-search ako sa aking email box, sa ating inbox, at nahanap ko si Machagan Affiliate Marketer na nag... Well, he's not an affiliate, it's his own company. Si Mr. Online Marketer na nagbabato palagi ng email. And then on the spot, nag-sign up ako sa produkto niya. So, if you are an affiliate marketer, it is important for you to have your own email marketing campaign. Don't feel bad if it seems that people are not opening your email because when a buying opportunity arises, someone is going to search their inbox. And guess what? They will find your old email. They will find your link. They will buy your product. Because when they were searching for a product that they wanted to buy, they found you in their inbox. They did not find your website in Google. They didn't find your Facebook fan page. They found your email in their inbox. It's, it's just there, no? So don't feel too sad na, oh, ano ba to? Dalawang taong ko na in-email tong taong to, hindi naman bumibili. Ano kaya? I-unsubscribe ko na lang siya. Hindi eh. The buying oppor opportunity will arise at the right moment. Ayan. Sabi ni Gia, perhaps it's because you decided now to do short-term trading. Ayun, yes, I decided to do short-term trading now and I found the email of someone who is offering both long-term investing training and short-term trading. Yan. Watching here in Taiwan, Ni Hao, bitter, bitter daw ko. Sol de lesa, sol yesa. So there, for those of you who want to join me in the short-term trading journey, just remember that we are not abandoning our long-term investing journey. Our long-term stock market investing journey, tuloy-tuloy pa rin yun. I'm, I am continuing my membership sa Truly Rich Club because I want to get the information from Bo Sanchez and at the same time, I want to support the programs of Bo Sanchez, especially yung kanyang Anna Wim community where they take care of the elderly. And at the same time, when I compare the data nitong si Mr. Long-Term and Short-Term and with the Truly Rich Club. May mga ibang stocks na pareho pero maraming ibang stocks na hindi magkapareho. So we are now expanding our knowledge na na okay, si Truly Rich, ganito yung pananaw nila. Si ganito naman, ganito yung pananaw nila. And then we're combining and getting the best of both worlds. Hello, Coach Kiko Javier. Thanks for joining us. Kim De Los Santos Razon. Thank you for watching. To give you a quick preview, no? Parang ganito. Sa loob ni Truly Rich Club, Bo Sanchez will say something like, let's, let's uh, think of a fictitious stock, ABC. Sabi ni Bo Sanchez, oh, itong si stock ABC, blue chip yan. Mara maganda yung long-term prospects. Buy it if the price of the stock is below 100 pesos. Eh, tama-tama. If I look at the stock market, I go to call financial and check, Magkano na nga ba yung presyo ni stock ABC? Nasabi doon, oh, it's now at 99 pesos. And some people are willing to sell their stock at 99, at 98, at 97, at 96. Ang ginagawa ko, I'll say, sige, I want to buy your stock at 99. Pipiliin ko yung pinakamahal. Kasi for me, eh, sinabi naman ni Truly Rich Club, sabi naman ng grupo ni Bo, basta below 100, bilin eh. Okay naman yun, total. In the future, aabot naman yan na siguro 130 pesos. So kahit 99, tapos benta ko ng 130, okay na. I don't care about the 98, 97. Kasi noon, when I saw that some people were going to sell their shares at 99, 98, 97, 96, pinipili ko yung pinakamura. As, tapos anong nangyayari noon? O oh, no, call financial, nakabili na ba ako? Kasabihin sa akin, hindi eh, kasi naunahan ka na ng ibang buyer. Kasi ang dami nakaabang doon sa pinakamura. So, sige, doon na nga sa pinakamahal. So, within seconds, your order has been completed. Congratulations, you have successfully purchased uh, 100 shares of stock ABC at uh, 99 pesos. And happy ako at that time kasi it followed the rules that it was below the price, the buy below price ni 
truly rich. Ngayon, we think of the other mentor naman, ang sabi niya, alam mo, I have data that shows that that's, that, uh, that stock, no? The popular price is between 95 and 96. So, ang tanong, why will you buy the stock at 99 when you can buy it pala between 95 and 96? Marami doon nagbebenta. Okay? Sabi ko, o nga, no? E di, doon na lang ako. So, when I enrolled in his class, I go, sige, I will try your technique. Does it mean na uh, iiwan ko na si Bo? Hindi. I also support si Bo kasi, ang gagawin ko kasi, I'll have again a separate fund. Ito yung kapag gina, ginamit ko yung strategy ni Bo, ito yung kapag ginamit ko yung strategy ni Money Grower Speech, ito yung kapag ginamit ko yung strategy ni um, nitong bagong mentor na to. I won't mention his name muna. Okay? Ito yung fund para sa mga mutual funds. Ito yung fund kapag si BDO. Ito yung, ito yung fund kapag si Sun Life. Para ma-compare ko kung, kung sino ba yung pinakamagaling. And then, pag nakita ko yung pinakamagaling, yung tanong mo, so will you drop the weak ones? And my answer is, no, I will not drop the weak ones. Like, there's this fund. Itong fund manager na ito, yung growth niya, 3% lang. Samantalang yung fund manager ni BDO, yung growth niya was something like, 9%. So, ang tanong, bakit hindi ko nilaglag itong si Mr. 3%? Kasi kaibigan ko yun. Hindi ko sabihin, wow, pare, 3% ka lang. Ayoko na sa'yo. Hindi. Remember, business is about relationships. And after all, 3% is still much better than 0.25% if I just leave money in the bank. Now, you might be wondering, talaga, yung sa banko, hindi pala 1%, it's only 0.25%. Ba't ka pa mag sa, ng pera sa bankos? My answer to that is, kailangan ko pa rin yung banko kasi sometimes you have an emergency, you need to get money right away. The, you can't get your money out of the stock market right away. But out of the bank, it's much faster. So even though they're only offering 0.25% per year, sige. Okay? So you have to spread your money because you have different objectives and different uses at different points in your life different times in your life. So, spread it. Joel Basig, good morning. Hello, Jin Ray Ibona. Ayan. Questions, questions. So, there, no? I'm spending the next five days reading up on short-term trading, reading the books of Marvin Germo, trying to learn, learn their patterns, their head and shoulder, mga kung something that, that will give you a clue as to whether the price is worth the stock is worth buying at this time or not yes gia liquid yung nasa bank account thank you anton for joining us i hope that you will take whatever you learn here and use it and teach it to your friends around you para more people become aware of the stock market about mutual funds about insurance and all of that so that more people can go up no I read somewhere that there are only there are less than 900,000 Pinoy investors in the stock market. Ilan na ba tayo? 110 million Filipinos and less than 900,000 are placing money in the stock market. So there's a lot of potential for growth in the stock market and for improvement para maangat yung buhay ng mga kapwa natin, mga Pinoy, makababay natin. Ayan. So that's it, no? Until the next time, I'll be talking about again the stock market and our short-term trading journey. Abangan nyo po yan. In the meantime, I'm Manny Villoria of TrulyRichPinoy.com saying invest in yourself before others will invest in you. Maraming salamat po at mabuhay tayong lahat. For those of you who just tuned in, don't worry. The replay or the recording will be available in about 15 minutes. Have a great Saturday, everyone. Bye. Happy investing and trading. <laughs> Yes, self-mastery. Uh, shout out to Coach James and Coach Ray Aldwin. Nakakatulong talaga yung self-mastery. Applicable, hindi lamang sa online business, pati na rin sa stock market and investing and trading. Happy weekend. Bye.